filmmaking on a budget? Is it possible? Zesty Mike will show us if it's possible to make films for cheap. And then we're going to reveal the jackpot winner in today's $100,000 sponsorship powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. What is up, Freedom? My name is Zesty Mike, and if you did not know, I am a filmmaker. I've been studying film pretty much all my life. Like, out of the womb, I was like, mm, I like videos. And then I went to college for media communications for about two years, and then transferred to new school, studied digital filmmaking, and got my bachelor's degree. So I'm here to share my tips of the trade to you, my fellow Freedom friends. If you're someone that likes to vlog or create short films or even comedy sketches, I'm here to help you. But Michael, I want to make films, but I don't got the money. <laughs> you don't need money, you silly Sally. Check out this quick video to see what I mean. Hey, do you have a dollar I can borrow? No, I need help! Oh. Ow. To make this, I only used three things. The lighting that was already in the house, a digital camera, and then a digital recorder. Now watch this again without the digital recorder. Hey, do you have a dollar I can borrow? No, I need help! This short film was made for a total of $150, and that's purchasing the camera and audio equipment and everything. So the camera I used was the Canon ELPH300HS. That cost about $70 new in box. I didn't buy it brand new, I bought it new in box because it was used like a minute and they put it back in the box and give it back. So I got it super discounted for 70 bucks. So assuming you already have a digital camera, you could purchase yourself a cheap audio recorder and you can use the two to combine and make a nice little cinematic feel video for cheap. But Michael, I wanna make films that I have $150 to spend on equipment. Trust me. If you want to make it happen, you will make it happen. When I bought my first camera, I actually went door to door and mowed lawns. And then I saved up enough money to buy my first digital camera, and then I bought an MP3 player that actually had a voice recording option where you talked into the headphones, clicked record at both the same time, synced them up in post, and boom! Had my video ready to go. So go mow lawn, shovel snow, or rake leaves, whatever you gotta do to make that extra cash so you can go buy yourself some cheap film equipment and get your career started. You don't need money to make good films. All you need to know is how to work with the equipment that you do have, or lack thereof. You guys are all awesome people, and if you want it, I'm sure you can make it happen. Throughout this series, I have a lot of stuff planned for you guys. I want to start out with cameras and then move to shooting techniques and editing techniques and even VFX breakdowns. But my goal is if you have just started filmmaking, you can actually pick up this series, watch the first episode, and work your way up to the top with everyone else. So even if you have been doing film for a while, hopefully you can still get something out of the beginning videos because I want to try and do stuff that is for everyone and try and make it open for everyone as well. However, I want to hear your guys' input so if you have something in particular that you want to learn, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know and then I will do my best to shine some light on that particular topic. But anyways guys, that's it for me today. If you want more of me, you can come over to my personal channel where I upload daily vlogs every single day. You can see this face every single day if you want to. It's possible, I promise. And we also have a Vine where I'm going to be uploading really stupid videos like in the beginning of this. We're we'll doing that on the regular. So if you want to check that out, the link's in the description below. But finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of today's $100,000 sponsorship. Tiffany? Thanks, Mike. It's good to know you can still make films even if you have absolutely no money. Like me. <laughs> And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see who's going to be taking home $400 in grand prizes. Based on organic viewership growth over the last week. And you get to choose from all of these lovely products brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And, yes, a DX Racer chair has been added to the mix. Rick, if you please. After what seems like an eon, you've stumbled upon one of the fabled secrets to growing a successful brand on the tube of you. Your perilous journey is far from over, however. You've taken the important first steps toward building a media empire, but it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. $400 in grand prizes! Yes, I am talking to you, not your Murphy! You won! You've obviously been paying attention to the advice given by the Freedom family toward growing organically through search and related videos. Now you get to choose from all of these prizes to celebrate 65% of viewership growth in the last 30 days. Now go forth, young grasshopper, and continue your epic journey through the chronicles of Nadia. Huzzah! Fare thee well, Nadia. And if a gray wizard should ever appear to you and ask you to go on an unexpected journey, tell him you're too busy making YouTube videos.
Huzzah! Congratulations, Freedom Partner. And remember, don't let Rick steal your stuff. He's been known to steal stuff. Like Jobs. He's sneaky. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Impulse. Tomorrow, Zach is back to review another awesome game. Until next time, I'm your host, Tiffany. And yeah, Rick stole my job, and I'm a little bitter about it. You would be. And now for the <laughs> truck. <laughs> you can choose from all these lovely products brought to you by our partners with freedom. Hey, y'all, because it's freedom. Yeah. Yeah, freedom.